Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on what I filled Gabriel's stocking with. So I went to the Dollar Tree and if you saw my Dollar Tree Christmas decor haul video, I basically realized how great of items they had for kids there and I just plan to go back there to get all of his stocking stuffers. So that's what I did. So this video is a Dollar Tree stocking stuffer for your kids idea kind of video and I found a lot of good stuff. He helped <laughs> but he um, you know will forget and then it'll be like a whole new surprise again. I did grab some things from the dollar spot at Target a while ago so I knew that and it just wasn't gonna all fit so I also replaced some dinosaurs that Flex ate so thank you Flex yeah so let's um, just jump right into this video because we have a lot of little knickknacks to get through oh and I wanted to show you because it's too small to have its own separate video but we also made like a Christmas gift basket for our neighbors I told you guys in that last video of Dollar Tree decor haul um, that we got I got a little cookie bucket thing and that I wanted to make cookies and give it like to our neighbors well when I went back to the Dollar Tree to get Gabe's stocking stuffers I don't know what came over me, but I was like, I'll get stuff for their dogs. <laughs> um, so I kind of made it like a cute, big old thing than what I intended it to be, which is fine. And I think this would be a cute little tradition for me and Gabe to do so he can realize, you know, we also give things. Um, I love giving gifts. I could give gifts like a thousand times over again and not receive one and I just like am so happy. Um, I would spend a bajillion dollars <laughs> if I could. Like just seeing someone being so happy from a gift is like so worth it. Like worth every single freaking penny. So um, I'll show you what I got for them in the bucket. <laughs> um, it's such a cute little Santa Claus bucket. but. And so maybe you guys can do that. It's just a fun little thing for your kids to do with you and just to learn, you know, that um, it's not all about presents. He obviously is very young. He may not comprehend it, but I still want to do it and I include him in it because he's still maybe at the age where he might. I don't know, but it's cute and a simple act of kindness, you know, just a simple thought is kind of what counts um, and is the point of whole thing so just the fact that you're thinking of someone you know I, I like wasn't even planning on the dogs and I went into the Dollar Tree and like I was like oh my god that bucket and, and then my wheels started turning and so that's where this all came up so before this gets too long let's just jump right into everything and what I got my neighbors and gave for his stocking so here's the bucket it's so cute um, so this is what I saw and then I just somehow got the idea for like a big old um, thing for their dogs as well I was gonna get them treats but um, that's kind of like a hard thing because dogs also have allergies they are Rottweilers but um, Every dog's different and also people have preferences on what they give their dogs so I didn't want to like you know get them something that they didn't want to give their dog so I didn't do that but I did get them some toys um, so they have a boy and a girl Rottweiler so I thought these were cute um, a blue stuffing toy and a purple stuffing toy um, for both their dogs they didn't have any Christmas colored ones. I feel bad I didn't even give my dog. <laughs> there was like another one there too and I didn't even think of it till after and it was green. I was like, I could, totally, I could have totally got that for Flex and put it in a stocking. I did get him something at Walmart, but I mean, I will get him. He has his own stocking, but um, I just was kind of like 
thinking about them in the moment. So I also got them this little cute toy set, two piece toy set um, at Walmart. Since they have two dogs, they could just, you know, separate it, figure it out, share it. I don't know. Just thought that was cute and it was green. I just wanted something Christmas colored. Um, I wanted to get hot cocoa when I went grocery shopping. So I just took two packets out and gave it to them and put it in the bucket um, for her and her boyfriend to make hot cocoa. I was gonna do marshmallows, but I didn't wanna get like wrapping and stuff like that. So I was like, they can just have hot cocoa, it's fine. So I just thought that was cute. I also got them some candy, just some Christmas candy. You can hear them upstairs. I was supposed to drop this off at their door like earlier this morning, but that didn't work out. So after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have to like, you know, secret Santa, drop it off at their front door, which I'm terrified because they don't have a backyard, so they take out their dogs to go to the bathroom. And I don't wanna like, hi. Oh yeah, this is for you. <laughs> but, and like, I don't want them to feel obligated to get me anything. It's just like a simple, like, I just wanted, you know, to do this for you guys. I wrote them a note, um, just saying Merry Christmas from your neighbors, Megan, Gabe, and Flex. Um, also, Flex has been really annoying and weird and like barking at anyone on the other side of the fence, which is probably driving them freaking nuts. So I was just telling them I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not why I'm doing this though, but you know, I was like, just feel free to yell at him. And then the bucket with the cookies kind of like fits in here weirdly, but so this is the bucket you guys, if you watched my video, saw. Um, and I just made them little, well, I didn't make them, you know, I also don't want to make them because sometimes people are weird when people make things, you know, they're just like, did they eat this off the spoon? I don't know. <laughs> so um, at least these, you know, everyone knows just like the generic already made sugar cookie. So there was no spoon licking here. So I just put that back in here. It's kind of odd, but it kind of like makes everything higher, so it works out. Flex keeps hearing these toys. Um, and then there's my little act of giving. It's not much, you know. It was probably about like six dollars total like that and it looks like a lot you know but like that's doable I don't have much to give you know but it's like oh sorry you guys now Gabriel the big the big fun stocking so I told you you guys saw probably in my last if you watched my last Dollar Tree video that I was obsessed with these dinosaurs. They're so cute. Um, and Flex ate like three of them. So I just replaced a couple of them and apparently I got a duplicate one that he didn't eat. So now he has two, but whatever, he'll probably eat one. So I got a couple more of those. And then I got him for Christmas a kitchen. It is so cute because I just ordered it last night. I didn't know which one I was gonna get. This I can put in my living room and it will like not bother me because it literally matches all my stuff. It's adorable. But it doesn't come with any utensils or anything or pots and pans so I had to get those. Okay, I had to put that there because Flex is gonna take their toys in a second here. So I, um, the Dollar Tree has like a whole bunch of utensils and pots and pans. So um, I got this for him, uh, the utensils part, and I gave him um, it, the, because it was too big, I would have had to undo it and it would have looked weird. The pot and pan set, well, it's just one pot and it has a little spoon. So he already opened that, but um, 
And you get a lot of these and they're just cute. I also got him this dinosaur. It's a little different than the other ones. Not as colorful, but it's like soft. It's like really squishy, which I like because I like don't know why the other ones are so hard. Those ones aren't that hard, but um, I like when they're softer. Okay. Next, this one is like a, I've been wanting to get him this for a while. But I don't know if he's at the age yet where he'll actually play with it or if he'll eat it. So if you can guess what that is, then props to you. <laughs> um, if you're a mom, you probably will. But, I mean, it even says on here 3 plus, but I don't know. Play-Doh. So um, I think if he played with it, he would have so much fun. But I think he would ruin it by trying to eat it. Because he eats crayons. So... <laughs> Um, I just got him one. I don't want to get, even though there's more packs with a bunch more Play-Doh. Um, I didn't want to get that, even though they were a dollar still, if he wasn't going to play with them. So, I got this and it came with a cute little shape so he can actually maybe play with it. Instead of focusing on eating it, he can focus on making shapes. That might work. And got him this little robot. Um, he doesn't have any like figurines like this. Kind of more like Transformers looking toy. Um, so something different, but I'm probably gonna take it out of the packaging just because it won't probably fit. Or it would actually, because his stocking's knitted. But so there's this. Next, they have a whole bunch of car toys there. Some are like more plasticky, some are like pretty, they even have Hot Wheels I saw. Um, the more plasticky ones, you get two of them. This one's a Ford, I guess Ford's the brand, but it's just a cute little car. So um, I might take it out too. I don't know, it would probably fit though. Again, another Dinosaur Flex 8. Just replace that one. And then I got him this little safari wild animal. Um, just a lion. I only got him one. And I got him this cool little thing. I think he will think it's so fun when he realizes it can stick like to a window. Um, who, like It'll entertain him and keep him busy, you know, for a long time. So it's great. <laughs> And then for candy wise, these I'll probably maybe put a couple and then put the rest in a jar. But he ate like his first dum dum the other day because I got a bag of these. They were so cute. He didn't really know how to what to do with it, and I was like, "You have to lick it." <laughs> um, but then he got the hang of it, so I'll probably put a couple of these in there. Um, I had him do eat it in the bathtub though because God, it would be a mess everywhere else. And then I got just these. This is probably the only candy I'll get him. He's not really at the age where he is like, I want candy or like this is not for you. <laughs> um, no, but. And he's also too young, you know, to have like too much candy. So I feel like that's a good amount. He'll be fine with that. So all that is what I got from the Dollar Tree for his stocking. Stuffers. And then I'm going to throw in here kind of what I got him bef before um, from the Dollar Tree section. Or <laughs> from the dollar section at Target. Because I found a couple cute stuff there. So, I got this fruit. This was $3. I think it's adorable. And it's, um, they're wood, they're wooden. So, I think that's so cute. He also had, I think, another food set, but I like this one. I also got him this. 
He's not going to know how to do it, but I think he's going to think it's so much fun trying. So there's that. And he has so much fun with stickers. Um, so at the dollar section, I got him like some Christmassy stickers, which I thought were cute. I was kind of thinking, because, but then I also found at, this one was different. This was at World Market is where I found this one. It's a dinosaur sticker book. I don't even know if this will fit in his stocking. Maybe I could do this as a present. Actually, that would be a good, another little thing I already got, but he'll, he's going to like flip out. Oh, you can even put it on the page. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, so he's gonna like that. I'll probably wrap this then, but because it's gonna, it won't fit. So I'll probably put this one in his stocking, and he has a bunch of stickers to last him probably till next Christmas. <laughs> but um, he likes to put them on his hands, or I put them on his hands, and then he just puts them everywhere throughout the house. So, you know, whatever makes him happy. So yeah, that is all the things I got him for his stocking. I hope it gave you some ideas of what to get your kids um, or, you know, anyone, I guess, kid-related in your life um, to put in their stockings. I know, I kind of think about now, prior to how I used to think without a kid. And I used to be stumped, like, on ideas. Even though I wasn't getting anything for kids, I just would never know... I don't know. It's like I know this stuff existed then. Like Dollar, the Dollar Tree was here three years ago. The Dollar Section and Target. Um, so I don't really know like why. I don't know. It's crazy. Like YouTube can help you out so much. So I like doing these videos. So it gives you guys ideas. I also love watching them. So I hope it gave you some good ideas. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.